Well, uh, good morning and thank you. First of all, thank you for the organizers to invite uh, me to uh, to share some experiences. Uh, and uh, well, now we start with this. Okay, and uh, I, I thank you very much also, Henik, uh, to remember our roots because uh, we are all sons of uh, the starting point from your school. And uh, then uh, uh, my experience, well, a small experience is a personal experience, but I introduced in the, uh, the wide membrane enclosures. Why, why wide? Uh, because uh, wide means uh, a different uh, problem. It means that there is a problem of this, what I call the scale effect. It's not the same to have 20 meter and 200 meter, that we have a, a lot of completely different problems from an architectural and a structural point of view. Uh, as we observed yesterday, the main uh, applications are in the uh, sport buildings, like the stadia that uh, we, uh, we observe many applications uh, during the last uh, decades. And, uh, and this is uh, the Olympic Stadium in Roma. Uh, but uh, we have also, you know, in Roma, <laughs> uh, we have somebody that uh, from, uh, you know, the Roman Empire, then in the uh, Coliseum, the Flavian Amphitheater, they apply, you know, this uh, suspended uh, canvas uh, roof, and uh, maybe they have no problems with the Euro codes and so on, but uh, they apply without uh, no problem with the legal actions. And uh, today, but using especially steel, materials and uh, uh, what uh, we call high-tech uh, uh, materials like uh, uh, carbon fibers, aramidic fibers and fiber, glass fibers, uh, then putting all together, then we have uh, the possibility to do very interesting things, uh, very wide enclosures. And uh, my personal experiences uh, are as many other, I think, in the in between challenge and anxiety, and I will explain why. You know, I I ha I made uh, the the sign of the uh, Roma, the new Colosseum, in 1990. At that time, there was no um, even very difficulties in uh, computer programs know nothing about wind engineering. We start wind engineering in that time with uh, Toronto and uh, Western Ontario about the sub-horizontal uh, uh, roof that are completely different than the tall buildings. And then at that time I have a, a lot of problem. I say, well, now I am doing, this is the first in the world, is the father of many other songs all around the world. And, but at that time, I have uh, an anxiety considering the possibility to have some kind of aerodynamic instability. And uh, uh, fortunately, after the first experiences, uh, we got the idea that uh, this uh, long uh, and wide enclosure have uh, benefits for the wind uh, according to uncorrelation relation in time and space and more in the damping, aerodynamic damping. Well, going ahead, uh, the question is uh, uh, the scale effect and, uh, and the new materials. We have to consider altogether what about uh, the reliability assessment today, because I'm really uh, preoccupied still today because I, I, I suffered um, some uh, situations uh, during the designs uh, uh, considering the reliability of the, uh, the structural system, uh, this is uh, the Pontiac Stadium, uh, remember in Michigan, that uh, collapsed. But uh, we have many other uh, examples that uh, were uh, giving me a preoccupation. I was involved about the failures in Montreal with other two international experts, and uh, we got uh, 
uh, the sensation that uh, sometimes uh, we are jumping in the technology and uh, in the know-how because from 2,000 square meter to 20,000 square meter maybe uh, some uncertainties and reliability assessment may appear. As in this case, uh, the wind uh, the wind action for such a kind of structure was uh, uh, very difficult to simulate at that time. And also the aging of the membrane. As you see, the aging of the membrane was uh, very short. And also the question of details. It's uh, very difficult to put together, you know, very stiff materials like this uh, with uh, 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 a strong, very strong material as aramidic fiber, but they have, uh, you know, reliability collapse according to the initial cutting. With initial cutting, then we have to proceed uh, to simulate what happened in such a case, and then we, uh, collecting all the information, we got uh, the idea that, you know, the stays, the stays, uh, the suspended stays, uh, we have with uh, uh, snow loading, for instance, the stays are almost straight. But with the wind load, you know, the membrane have a very big displacement and the stays goes in such a situation. And then there is, uh, you know, a f <laughs> may call fatigue, that is shock, uh, uh, shocking in the, in the details of the membrane. Something uh, more or less, uh, you know, the initial, the initial problems were about the vibration of the cables initially, but it's not connected with a, a deck, a very rigid deck, but it's connected with a soft structure. And then an observer gave us, uh, 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 during the report, uh, giving us a say, uh, you know, aerodynamic instability of, uh, um, a, you know, uh, jumping a wave, a symmetric wave of all the membrane about, uh, five, six meter, you know, displacement like that. And then uh, uh, we simulate also in, a, in a, an a wind tunnel that is even with a very small rain, we have a Saturday, the, the cable start jumping and then moving the membrane and after evidently we have this increasing and increasing the energy uh, of the wing and then uh, create uh, this uh, kind of failure. We simulate that also mathematically uh, in order to have an idea of the vortex shedding uh, for the changement of the, of the section. And uh, what happened? After, you know, after the, uh, the failure, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Quebec uh, government uh, gave us the task to make a new design, and uh, we made a new design in steel, completely in steel with a membrane of uh, stainless steel, and uh, we decided to make the investigation about the SAG, this 220 <laughs> meter, and the sag between 10 and 13 meters sag, we have detachment of the of uh, of the turbulence of uh, the wind, and then uh, we study the uh, you know the accumulation, incredible accumulation of snow. And uh, you see, from 10 to 13 meters, uh, we have here almost nothing. Uh, the wind coming from this side, uh, we have four kilonewtons or six kilonewton. Uh, square meter, then we have to be very careful about progressive collapse. It means that uh, we have a C kilonewton for a, a small secondary structure and after we have to short circuit and not involving all the structural system. This is uh, the problem. You have a step effect also, a step effect of, uh, you know, 15 kilonewtons of square meter of noise accumulation. Therefore, the, uh, at that time, was, uh, you know, uh, it's not the place for a membrane structure in Montreal, sure, but uh, uh, not in such a, a situation, even because, you know, during the um, design of the steel structure, even in the steel structure, doing a proper analysis of, uh, you know, the probability of failure, it means a, a third order analysis in order to get uh, what happened with the, the tolerances in, co in construction and, and, uh, and the curvature of the, 
uh, longest cables, stay cables like that, they would find that there was no enough safety for that, especially for the two cables in this position. The other ones were okay. Uh, in such a situation, you know, the political climate in Quebec, they say, okay, then no, you cancel all, we, we finalize all the design. Also, the works are starting, initial starting in the, in the building site, uh, uh, the, the, the political change, political change, and they say, no, we come back to the same solution or something, uh, not more convertible, but the same solution because we, 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 I don't know why. But anyway, they do another bid and change, you know, from, uh, Aramidic fiber to fiberglass uh, coated by PTFE. And then uh, the second time, uh, you, know, you know, the first, the second month after the inauguration, there was another collapse. Another collapse of a panel of a 30 by 30 meters uh, collapsing. There is a video at four in the morning for Tunatli because there was the motor show underneath and uh, disappeared the, uh, the Japanese place and uh, from 60 tons uh, that falling down from 50 meters. And uh, you know, uh, this is uh, a preoccupation and that's why I say anxiety. What will be the real dimension of the material? What is the reliability of the material? And, uh, and you have to use that in a certain range because if not, you will collect in this case, uh, we understand, for instance, uh, what happened in Vancouver. In Vancouver, it's uh, very easy. It's not a question of resistances, of uh, deformation, of ponding, etc., etc. But it's a question of aging of material. It's after 20 years and more. Evidently, we have that uh, the resistance. A decay in time, and then the time-dependent the reliability problem. After that, in a certain time limit, uh, we arrive to the failure, uh, evidently because uh, you know the membrane and uh, the, the material is uh, decaying in time. And then uh, this is another problem of uh, reliability of uh, the kind of material. But what we collect about the scale effect. The scale effect and long span start uh, several special design I noted as, uh, for instance, the snow distribution accumulation of large covering areas in function of statistical correlated wind direction and intensity, the wind pressure distribution, and, uh, well, <laughs> considering theoretical and experimental correlated power spectral densities and time histories, that has to be studied carefully. A rigid and aeroelastic response of large structure under the action of cross correlated random wind action, considering static, quasi static, and resonant contribution. The time dependent effect of coactive indirect actions as pre stressing short and long term creeping by temp and temperature effects, local and global structural instability, non linear geometric and material behavior, then we collect everything, and uh, more. Uh, reliability and safety factors of a new high-tech composite materials. And this is the main task of today because I want, I would like to introduce uh, what happened about uh, the Euro code. What is, uh, the, you know, the calibration of the safety factors. So we are speaking about membranes, safety factor around four and five. And it means uh, that uh, there is no calibration at all. Because uh, in reality, if you are saying four and five, and uh, at the same time you have that uh, uh, for steel, we have one or 1.1 according to society, then evidently putting together the two systems, uh, then one is reliable at certain level and the other a completely different level. And then is uh, what happened? happened that the standard deviation is very high, one against the other. And then, uh, you know, the gamma M, you know, uh, in the error codes calibration, in the error codes, the, this is the steel, for instance, the steel, what happened? For these uh, other materials, we have a, a collapse uh, in uh, root mean square. It means the standard deviation. And then, 
after that we have something like this and then you know if uh, this is going down do we have a, a what we call in probabilistic and safety we can call the tail sensitivity and then at this time there is no possibility to analyze uh, such a kind of structural system according to the first level semi-probabilistic level of reliability and what we have in you know the calibration of partial factors uh, the calibration we know very well even in concrete uh, what happened calibration is made in Bruxelles sometimes in the corridor and uh, according you know for the mathematical point of view what uh, means uh, the calibration of a gamma of around four and five I think uh, Tensinet uh, must take in consideration this chapter very carefully because you know I'm speaking and I know because I was involved in Montreal two times for one failure and the other failure and many other things there is a problem of legal actions if uh, I was uh, you know the uh, you know in the for the uh, for the court and uh, one of the others all in the same way uh, the contrary I will say, you know, you, you, you made a, a complete mistake because you cannot do that according to the conventional way of calculation. Because, you know, the, the gamma uh, factor are not calibrated at all. And then you have to proceed, if possible, about the second level or even the third level that, uh, you know, is uh, very difficult. Why that? Because, uh, you know, from beta, uh, you know, in order to have uh, the safety, you know, safety means to have a chance of 10, 10 minus 5, minus 6, in order to have a, a chance of failure. That means, why uh, safety index means uh, between 4 and 5. You see that the, the central gamma, the central safety coefficient have a big variability between this and this, the big variability. And then if uh, this, uh, the big variability, it means that, uh, you know, we may demonstrate uh, that uh, we are doing, you know, uh, an analysis that is not safe at all. And then the legal actions will be, you know, very preoccupant. What we have to go to, uh, you know, beta around here and the uh, probability of a around there. Uh, at this time, we need uh, to calculate, you know, the global probability of failure. That means an integral of all, you know, parameters and variables must be introduced in the in the calculation according to the own density, probability density, not calibrated and filtered by gamma. This is the, the difference. And then uh, uh, is a membrane, maybe it's not all textile, but uh, this, in this case, uh, in order to have a, uh, an example, uh, we have to do this calculation. I made the design of the covering. This is a project of Soto de Mura, that the, win, uh, the winner of Prisca Prize is in Braga, in Portugal. And, uh, you know, this is uh, a very s slender, very simple, simple supported, simple suspended uh, membrane, but uh, 25 centimeters of concrete, uh, and uh, the membrane is only for the waterproofing in this case. Uh, you know, they start the idea from this one that is uh, completely different than to have in the middle <laughs> we have no possibility to have an inverted arch. And uh, in such a case, I say, you know, we will find uh, evidently with vibrations, uh, big vibrations, and we have a problem uh, probably of uh, reliability during the, well, there was a big discussion uh, in, with Portuguese uh, uh, engineers, so they say, no, 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 well, uh, we were obliged to, to do an aeroelastic model in Milano, uh, that is the wind tunnel dedicated for the Messina Bridge. They have the possibility to have a large, a uh, small scale uh, of a model and uh, an elastic model like that. Uh, we have the possibility to compare what was the mathematical model and uh, the ex experimental model, and we got a very good, uh, you know, 
uh, analogies. And uh, at that time, uh, we were obliged to do what we call the random parametric sensibility analysis. In order to see, uh, we have to jump the first order. We have to go to, uh, to uh, calculate the beta index that was less than four. And then demonstrating, because you know, in the first order, everything was OK. And the second order was not, because uh, this part have no probability, uh, you know, have a probability of failure. And that's why uh, we have to introduce a mitigation system of vibration in, in order to satisfy the conditions. Well, at the end of the story, we have a, uh, that the main causes of a failure are inadequate appreciation of loading condition or structural behavior. And uh, if uh, we disregard ignorance, careness, and negligence, uh, we have that uh, underestimation of influence and insufficient knowledge is uh, the most important part of error factors observed in failure cases. And we have to consider in reliability if you, we want uh, to have a, 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 a serious frame of analysis in such a kind of structure, we have to consider in the theory of safety all the involved uncertainties, uh, starting from the phenomenological uncertainties that, that we may accept, that is jumping in the state of the art. Making step-by-step -step jumping instead of very big jumpings like that, but uh, decision uncertainties, modeling, prediction, physical, human factors, statistically, et cetera, et cetera. Phenomenological uncertainties are new concepts and new technologies and extending the state of the art. And uh, what uh, we have to uh, consider especially is uh, to avoid and short-circuit progressive collapse of structural system. Yeah, it means, uh, you know, uh, is uh, in euro codes about uh, the strength and uh, uh, of the structural system. Co and uh, parametric sensibility. This is one of the most important part in such uh, kind of a structure, even in structures of the new architecture, the free form, you know, the buildings that are twisted, etc., etc. All such a kind of, uh, of uh, structure have involved uh, uh, special uncertainties in uh, reliability assessment. And uh, in order to confuse uh, more, then we have Don Quixote, no? Okay. Uh, with all the euro codes uh, that uh, many of them are, uh, you know, we find uh, not precise equations of changes of obligations, etc. Everybody wrote and wrote and wrote uh, cubic meters of indications uh, that sometimes uh, 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 added more confusion than, than clarity. Well, at the end of the story, we saw that uh, uh, during all the conference, uh, we need addressed uh, numerical analysis, uh, especially for, for finding, you know, this, uh, this uh, a software made in 73, for instance, and, uh, but it's already done, or non-linear analysis with very, very, very big uh, displacement sometimes, because we have a ponding and long-term creeping that we have to include sometimes because we have phenomena that take care, takes 20 years to appear, especially in concrete. And uh, non-linear geometrical analysis under dynamic, etc. evidently uh, is a very uh, high effort all around and uh, conference about these uh, needs uh, that we have in order to uh, to, to follow uh, and to in the state of the art. Stochastic analysis uh, for the buffeting, et cetera, et cetera, and then uh, stochastic in time domain, it's in order because sometimes uh, it's not enough, uh, we need uh, uh, time domain analysis, uh, optimization techniques, and uh, what uh, we introduced uh, from the very beginning, the parametric stochastic sensibility and reliability analysis that maybe is necessary in order to, uh, to, to follow. Well, now I show very quickly uh, what was my <laughs> uh, impression to do some 
kind of decision making uh, in a uh, different kind of uh, application because I gave uh, in, the, in this case of uh, the membrane only the task to be a secondary, uh, secondary function every four meters connection in a space frame like this in order to have a, 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 a such a kind of solution and um, uh, uh, why? <laughs> because uh, you know the shapes. Uh, because uh, it was uh, very big, uh, very um, the shell was uh, in. The, I I didn't risk and uh, to make a completely membrane only, but I introduced a safety. Uh, yes. Then we have the Juventus Stadium. That is something that was realized only some. Uh, time ago, and then uh, even in this case, uh, we have the application of a membranes in order to have a secondary, a secondary uh, task. Uh, well, uh, we go very quickly because uh, probably we have no long time to discuss. But uh, I want to show, for instance, you know the difference. Uh, you know the uh, in details uh, because the you know the human you know between uh, such a kind of structure and I don't want to make three minutes okay, uh, to make the the, the same problems uh, that I got uh, for instance in Montreal in this case uh, to to have uh, the membrane together with uh, a strong structure then I see the softening structures and hardening structure cannot speak the same language. And uh, this is uh, the system of erection that was very interesting, very middle age one, but without trains, uh, we jump because we have only three meters, uh, three minutes. And then we have, a, uh, this is the corrugated metal sheet and after the membrane is over there, you know, with the connections, uh, everybody knows about that, the prestressing, mock-up and uh, so on. And uh, I think uh, it is better because you have three minutes. I jump uh, many other applications and we go directly to, to, to probably more interesting for everybody. We go to the expo. And uh, Okay, then we go to the expo and finalize the, you see, uh, the task uh, was to cover 1.5 kilometers of uh, the Cumano and uh, the transverse part of the Cardo. And the master plan of the architects gave us this uh, uh, suspended uh, canvas. This is only was a, a sensation, giving a, an idea. It means uh, to have something lightweight structure and not demonstrate the muscles. There is uh, a question of ethics of sustainability that was governing the master plan. And after that, I tried to, 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 to transfer this, uh, um, uh, the idea of the master plan in a, in a real uh, design, uh, doing the architecture and also the structural engineer, because I remain alone. And then everybody disappeared. <laughs> and then I remain, and then I study uh, you know, the comfort uh, and uh, around the comfort, uh, uh, the shape uh, was governed more than the comfort. And in order to destroy the sense of the tunnel, it means 1.5 kilometers cannot made with the same shape because every shape will create a tunnel effect that was very bad. CP factors, uh, reduction of uh, statistical reduction of the snow and the wind because it was six months life. And then we have this, uh, this is the concept. And then we, uh, this um, model will be multiplied in order to give uh, uh, an effect that is more or less this one, you see. Then <laughs> I, I, I try also to, to, to enjoy a little bit uh, trying to, to play with the colors, but uh, was not possible uh, at the time. And then, you know, only a few slides more. Then uh, this is uh, the structures, the cables, the canvas. 
and they uh, they they made a mistake and they at uh, the last time they they paint because uh, you know some people went in jail because of saving materials and uh, and <laughs> and and they were to save also also the painting i i phone i made a phone call one month before and say what about the painting ah, the after one month was in jail yes uh, and then uh, this is uh, is what you this is more or less the the modular shape and then and the under construction then we have okay well thank you very much because